Oh, I'm bored, lonely, cold. I guess I'm trapped in Earth's orbit forever. Unless I finally get caught in the gravitational pull and come back down from my suborbital confinement. Well, at least I don't even need to breathe since I'm dead already. What the? What's happening? Oh, my satellite fans are falling away from the Earth. Wait, my friends, where are you going? Come back, I feel lonely again. Wait a minute, the satellites are flying away. I'm falling back down. Oh no, I'm gonna burn up in the atmosphere. I think I'm approaching the speed of sound. I'm burning really hot. Ah! Hey Dan, I heard some noises coming from your room. Is everything alright? I'm fine, Mom. I just had a bad dream. I just attempted to come make an announcement to my YouTube channel about some updates on what videos I'm going to make in the future, only to be interrupted by Bone Six and the Black Thrasher. Oh, okay. Just as long as everything's alright, I don't have to worry. You know what, Mom? Uh, you're right. But still, I'm quite concerned that at least one of my worst enemies may come back. Really? Who do you think it is? Well, I'm not fully sure about this, Mom, but since I buried the Black Thrasher and at the end of the movie Return of the Black Thrasher, I think it's probably Bone Sticks. Bone Sticks? I thought you strapped him onto a V2 rocket and sent him spiraling into outer space. Yeah, but is it possible for him to, like, uh... Fall back to Earth? Fall back to Earth? Oh, I don't know, Mom. He'll probably burn up in the atmosphere. Well, we'll talk about it in the morning. For now, you get some rest. Yeah, sure. Good night, Mom. Ah! I don't know if I can say this crazy any longer. Ah! Hold on, Greg, Greg! Ah! Come in. Number two reporting, boss. We have reported a small meteor that impacted across the tree of space 3000 last night. Number two, seriously, have you been watching too many science fiction films with number one again? No, boss, I have not been watching any science fiction films for about a week now. But this is no science fiction I'm talking about. I'm talking about a real event that occurred in the present day. Book number two, I'm just getting up. Can I at least have my breakfast before you take me to the Treehouse Base 3000 just to see an alien mirror or whatever it is you're talking about? Well, have a quick one. I'll be in Spift with the others waiting for you. Alright, I'll see you at the car. Did you tell our boss? Yes, number one, I told him. He's having breakfast now. How long do you think he'll be? Hope it won't be an hour. He'll be like a few minutes or so. I really hope this isn't what I'm afraid it might be. What do you think it might be? I think it's an evil skull. What evil skull? The one that sticks for a bunny. You mean bone sticks? Oh, come on, Whippy. He can't possibly have come back. We launched him into our space on a rocket nine years ago, remember? That's true, but I felt it feels like he has finally re the atmosphere. That's highly unlikely. He has no retro rockets. True, but if he does re in the atmosphere, he'll burn up in the atmosphere. That's the most likely result if re entry was possible without the use of retro rockets. Besides, an ordinary human skull can't possibly survive the extreme temperatures of burning up in the atmosphere. Sure, space rocks are stronger than a human skull, but they do bring up in the atmosphere. A thermal protection shield, like the one on the space shuttle, is required to prevent a burn up in the atmosphere. Wow, this is no ordinary skull! Mr. Big Guy would be both you stop me arguing. The boss is walking to the car now! Alright, men, you better be right about this meteor impact. Because if you're not so healthy, I am going to send you to court martial and I'll give severe demotions to all four of you. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir! Good.
I've got a massive skull leak. I must find somewhere where I can hide until I fully recover. For that, I'm going to need a new stick bite because my arm was destroyed by a silky pumpkin's friends. He used my weaknesses against me. I now understand why we really went wrong. It's not because of some stupid crew members I haven't accounted for. That there wasn't the case, my like Sivsky told me it was. He was wrong. The error of my ways was that I originally planned to take Sivsky's bones from him before digging up the black thrasher of it and reassembling him. The other way around should have taken place. Well, I'm now back on this after spending nine years in sub confinement. I shall try my plan again. But this time around, I'm going to put Black Thrasher back together and he'll be invincible! He and I will be the ones to finally bring down Sari Senpai's Assyrians. <laughs> Just hang on, Black Thrasher. I'll be right there right after I make a new body for myself. Ah, I feel better than ever! Here I come, Black Thrasher! Uh-oh, I've got to get out of here! One good sized crater, but uh, where's the rock? Daniel, I'm getting traces in the crater indicating that this is no ordinary meteor. The DNA seems to match that of a human skull. What? You mean to tell me that Bosex has come back? That's impossible! He couldn't have survived the re entry in one piece! I'm sorry, sir, but Bosex did survive the re entry in one piece. Whippy, I'm sorry. Apology accepted, Mr. Big Guy. My god, you're right. It seems to me that indeed Bosix has returned. And if that's the case, he's probably after the Black Thrasher helmet. Good, good, this clear. Now, where's the burial chamber? Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh! Enter password, seriously? Well, I hope it's something that's easy to guess. Access denied. Hmm, he's smarter than I thought. Maybe I'll try. Access denied. Not the name of his YouTube channel, either. I can't believe he's too smart to have something like this be locked with an easy crew to crack password. Unless... Wait, I think I got it. Access denied. Why? Now is he? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm here. I've got to get out of here now! Huh? Oh my god. It's the alarm! Bonesix has stole the black dodger helmet! We gotta stop him now! I gotta get out of here bef since Bosick has probably set a trap for us! Daniel, yeah, we're stuck. We can't move. What? What's the problem, Spiff? Well, you remember those evil living branches trap you walked into nine years ago? Yeah? Well, we're right on top of them. Well, why don't we activate the dirt tires? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot about those. Activate dirt tires. Now, 
how we go in that place. Sir, it might be a trap. Whippy, what are you talking about? We ground up the trap with our tires, remember? True, but there could be guards waiting for us, or even Black Thrasher! Oh no, I have a very bad feeling about this. Bone Six and how to use the evil living branches trap as a decoy to buy him time to revive the Black Thrasher helmet! Oh, my head hurts. Where am I? Hey, where'd this skull come from? I'm the one who has freed you from the burial chamber I found you in. A talking skull? Wow, well, I got it. I never met a talking skull before. But anyways, I am the Black Thrasher. And who are you, Mr. Talking Skull? My name is Bone Sticks, and I know you're the Black Thrasher. How do you know me? I've been nearby the HQ of 77 Pacer Studios Incorporated all along. I saw you in Dan Simsky when you two first met in 2007. I saw you try to pursue him. I was really confident that you were actually capable of bringing Simsky down by yourself. But you failed miserably despite your strength. I even saw the plasma missile land you knew you would blow you up. In fact, that was my very first attempt to try to join the battle. But fortunately for me, the same missile that knocked you up for six months also knocked me up for two years. When I came to in 2009, I gathered up my skeleton engineer and set out with them to bring down Zeus and Pacer Studios Incorporated. And did you succeed? No, Black Treasure. I was absolutely unsuccessful in defeating him. My plan was believed to be perfect. I intended to lure Simsky into a trap, which took the form of my evil living branches at the entrance of my residence. Well, that part of my plan worked. I made one of the worst mistakes any villain could make. And what was that mistake? I let him have his last meal. A hot pocket before he came back and agreed to surrender his bones to me. And I gave him ten minutes to eat his lunch. And he did not give my henchmen any difficulty whatsoever. When he came back, I was about to cut him open to access his bones. A board from the aircraft mounted machine gun broke off the only thing I had that was capable of easily tearing through human flesh. I trusted him, and he stalled me as a result. I should have stolen his bones when I had the chance. However, even with my finger broken off, if any of my henchmen were quick enough, they could have picked up my severed finger as such. Could have had another chance to take the bones from Simsky's body. And you know who got to the finger first? Simsky. Like, who else? Of course Simsky got to the finger first before we did. Next, he ran off back to his home, opened the fireplace, and burned my broken finger, rendering it impossible for me to pierce through his flesh. Next, we fought each other, but Simsky grabbed me by the neck before I could bite him, then broke my head from my sick body, and threw me to the ground, winning easily. At least that's why it seems as I was as able to grow to the size of a tree after that. We were about to fight again from then on when his mother called him into the house to empty the dishwasher for her. You see, at that point, he kept stalling me more and more and we argued a lot. It's unclear exactly how he managed to counterfeit himself while he was emptying the dishwasher, but that's exactly what he did, making me think I crushed him when I really didn't. The whole battle was stalled by means of one argument after another between me and Zemsky himself, and it eventually culminated in him winning the fight, attaching me to a rocket, which he then launched up into our space, where I spent the past nine years in some over confinement with only space satellites for me to talk to. Wait a minute, you talked to satellites? Oh come on, Bone Six, you're sick! Well, I had to have someone or something to socialize with. Will you expect me to feel lonely? No. EXACTLY! Alright, 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 take it easy. Didn't mean for you to get upset. Okay, Black Thrasher. Here's my plan. You and I are to join forces to bring down 77 Pacer Steers Incorporated. After that, everyone on the plan will become evil living skeletons. And if I fully succeed, mostly to your efforts to assist me, you shall be exception to everyone on the planet Earth being a skeleton. But if you fail me, you shall join everyone else as a skeleton. Now don't you fail! Am I clear?
Crystal clear, Mr. Bone Sticks. Just call me Bone Sticks! Master, there's a car sitting outside our base. It's a red 1977 AMC Pacer with complete with some spy gear. That's Simsky's car! The spy Pacer 5000! In that case, attack the vehicle before it can get away. Well, sir, we're just skeletons. We break easy. I don't want any excuses! Go out and attack the enemy vehicle outside or I'll break you apart! Yes, sir. Dale, I just spotted some hostile skeletons approaching us. Activate machine laser. Machine laser activated. <laughs> They really think they have a chance against me, but yet, their attempts to attack me just results in them getting really busted up. You know, Bone Six, I don't think it was necessary for you to threaten your own men would force them to carry out your orders like that. Black Thrasher, it's all necessary. They just want to be cowards. I mean, they can do my dirty work. But the problem is the fact that they are just not willing to do what I ask nicely, so I must actually demand them to do what I want them to do. Look, Bone Sticks, I may be evil, but I have standards. It really bugs me to see a leader of evil skeletons abuse his own men. One of these days, some of your men will be so offended with your abusive demands that they might have signing with whoever you're fighting against. Who do you think you are, Joseph Stalin? Joseph who? Stalin! Never heard of him! He was a ruthless dictator who was the leader of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1953 when he died. He treated his people and his military horribly. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I heard enough from you about this Joseph Stalin, stupid, stop eating. Stalin. Whatever! Well, what news do you have for me? Did you and your squad destroy the enemy spy vehicle outside? I'm sorry to say, sir. I'm the last one in my unit. The others were broken up into millions of pieces, and- You retreated from the battle without my okay! You dare walk away from the battle and start fight to your last breath? This is treason against me, the all-powerful bone sticks! All cowards and trains will be broken apart! No, sir. Please don't break me apart. I can explain. The vehicle was bulletproof. We did manage to score direct hits on the enemy vehicle, but they didn't leave a scratch. We even fired a rocket made of bones at the car, but even that proved ineffective. Chances are that the car is armored like a tank. Well, what weapon was the vehicle armed with? A machine laser, sir. A laser weapon? You could have gotten a mirror out and have his energy beam fired back at him. I'm really gonna break you apart for cowardice. No, Bone Six, don't break him apart. Give him a second chance and a mirror. Stay out of this, Black Thrasher. These are my men, not yours. Sir, please, listen to Black Thrasher. It would really be a smart idea for you just give me a mirror to deflect the laser beam from the enemy vehicle outside. All right, soldier. I'll give you a second chance and use the mirror along with it. But you understand exactly what will happen if you fail me again, correct? Yes, sir, and thank you. Sir, one has a skeleton inside the vicinity. Hold your fire. He might be surrendering, and he's got a bag or something. Put me on megaphone. But sir, it might be a trick. So what? He's just a skeleton. He breaks easy. And I gave you a direct order, Spiff. Put me on megaphone now! You look carrying that bag. Give yourself up and show us what is in that bag you're carrying. This isn't what you think, Simpsy. You can't trick me, Bonehead. I can see right through you. Now either you show us what is in the bag right now, or we'll open fire. Good idea. Do that. No, we're giving you a fair chance to show us what is in that bag you're holding, and you're just simply letting it go to waste. No, I am not going to show you what is in my bag until you fire a shot at me. But you won't be able to if we just roll you the bits with our laser gun. This is your last chance. Unveil the content of your bag at once or you'll be fired upon. No way, I'm ready for your energy breath. Make it so I can be with my fallen comrades. <sighs> All right, you asked for it. Locked on target, ready? No, sir, don't shoot! Number one, what are you doing? This might be a trick. That skeleton fellas is one of Bone Six's henchmen. Especially his most trustworthy. It could be a sting up as you said for us. Oh, yeah, watch this. <coughs> oh, no, Amir, look out! Hey, 
Is everyone okay? Yes, I'm fine! In one piece! Still alive! I'm here too! I'm still alive too. Lucky the laser was sent to the lowest power state, otherwise you would have destroyed us all. Yeah, I'm just glad that everyone's alright. Can we fire the laser again? I'm sorry to say, the deflected energy beam destroyed the very weapon that created it. We ended up actually destroying our own laser weapon because of the mere skeleton soldier had. Oh, what have I done? Number one, I'm sorry, I should have listened to you. Apology accepted, boss. All that matters is the fact we're all still alive and in one piece. <laughs> Alright, now it's my turn. For I got a little surprise for that little troublemaker. Dana, what are you doing? You're bringing an empty weapon with you to fight someone who has a mirror to fight the empty belts. You'll get killed. At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> Sir, wait, before you go, you must take this new leather jacket with you. Seriously, another accessory upgrade? Must I always get an upgrade to myself on every mission I go on with you, Spiffed? But sir, it's necessary. You had this old brown leather jacket since you began your YouTube adventures back in 2007. Look at it now, it's really worn! Spiffed, are you insane? I am not gonna give up on this jacket because it... This jacket I have got history. Lots of it too! Sir, it's not really a different jacket. It's actually an upgrade I'm gonna give your old jacket. Why didn't you say so? Okay, here it goes. <laughs> there you go. Great! Nice looking jacket. Thanks, Biffed. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> huh? Hold on a second. Didn't I deflect the laser bolt you fired at me with my mirror? Yeah, but I didn't think it was necessary for me to up the power setting at all. Besides, these guys don't really take much damage anyway. Even if we're just a toy gun I was using on you. Look, Simsky, I'm a bit confused. You just fired a laser bolt from your car at me, only to have it reflected at you. And yet you come up to me to fire a handheld laser gun at me from point point range? That's committing suicide, isn't it? That doesn't really matter. Besides, due to the lower power setting, other than the machine laser on my car being destroyed, the, the beam didn't really do much damage to, to my car anyway, or at all for that matter. Now get your mirror out, will ya? But Simsky... Get your mirror back out at once! Oh no, Simsky survived his own energy bolt. He used an ordinary firearm on my only surviving soldier. I must make more soldiers. Black Joshua is up to you now. Go out and bring back our surviving soldier away from my further instructions. But both six, what about Simsky? Shouldn't we go after him and his crew? We'll just let him go. Let him go? Bone six, if we let him go, he'll buy him enough time to bring his entire army after us and bring his heads down instead of the other way around. Well, we need to rebuild my army. And you are my only hope now in defeating Simsky and bringing down 77 Pacers to his incorporate, at least until I have all my fallen soldiers rebuilt. But Bosex, how can you bring all your dead soldiers back to life? They're dead! <sighs> They've always been dead. They're living dead skeletons. I can bring them back to life. All of them! Now bring my soldier survivor down or you shall be broken apart yourself! Alright, alright, alright! All right, Skeleton Soldier, are you ready to say your prayers before I pull the trigger again? <laughs> All right, prepare to face your doom by the power of bone sticks. No! Oh, ow, 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 my foot! Dale, get in! Right! Oh, well, guess I'll deal with him later. What happened? I managed to deflect the laser bolt from the spy base of 5000. Although it did hit the vehicle, it only destroyed the laser weapon. Other than that, the car didn't take any damage at all. How? How can this be? Daniel had the vehicle's laser weapon set to all his power setting. Oh, and wait, 
Hold on a second. How did you get broken in half? And what happened to my mirror I trusted you with? He came up to me and pulled out what I thought was a handheld laser gun, but turned out to be a 357 Magnum revolver in disguise. He tricked me into pulling my mirror back out. I swear I didn't know it was a revolver in disguise until it was too late, but I'm sorry to say, he broke the mirror and my bottom half. Oh, that cheater! He will pay severely for this! But anyways, what happened next? Next, just when Dale was about to pull the trigger on his revolver, Black Dasher here pushed him as I had knocked him down. Black Dasher was about to finish Daniel off when one of his cameramen from his car fired a sniper rifle at the former's ankle, buying the letter time to get away. You're not gonna break me apart, are you, boss? No, soldier, you have done well. Congratulations on your efforts of deflecting that laser beam from the spy base of 5000. The next phase of the plan is to assault the base of 77 Pacers Sears Incorporated. With the help of the Black Thrasher, we shall defeat his armor, capture some tea, take the bones from his body, and I will make them mine! Eventually, everyone else on the planet shall become evil living skeletons. And Black Thrasher, congratulations on rescuing my sole surviving skeleton soldier! It was an honor, and what's my next assignment? Your next assignment is to follow Simpsky back to his base and closely admire him. Take notes of what you have cooked at least five notes worth of intel. Report them all back to me. Any questions? Yes, Bone Six. Why should everyone on Earth be skeletons instead of normal living, breathing creatures with their blood, bones surrounded by flesh and blood? I mean, isn't that concerned to be prejudiced against humanity? You really don't understand the situation here, do you, Black Thrasher? My mob is to turn this world to kindness only inhabited with skeletons. Having flesh and blood on your bones sounds ridiculous as it gives you unnecessary weight. Living skeletons reduce weight to a minimum. But bone sticks, we need flesh and blood to stay alive. You sound more like you want to kill everyone on the planet. That's absolutely terrible. I'm not going to argue with you about this anymore. Remember, we made a deal. You help me as best as you can, you shall be the only exception to everyone on the planet Earth being an even living skeleton. Now get out of here before I have the bones ripped from your body. My bone sticks? No! everyone, here's what's going down. Bone Six and the Black Thrasher have joined forces to try and bring us down, so we must get ready to repel the attack. But first, the machine laser on the Spy Pacer 5000 has to be rebuilt. Everyone else, prepare for war! Hmm, I really wonder whether or not I should really listen to a talking skull that stick for a body. But I'm worried. The fact that the Simsky may sound like a good idea, but Bosex would be mad at me for betraying him. Also, Simsky might just kill me on sight. But if I help Bosex, it will destroy the entire human race, including me! Wait a minute, what is it with all this goodness in my heart? Is it a side effect of having spent ten years in the fellow chamber I was put in? Wait a minute. Now I know what to do. I have to ignore all Bone Six's instructions and side with Simsky and his gang. Sir, are you sure you can trust the Black Thrasher to carry out the mission you assigned him? I have to trust him because he's the only one who is actually capable of defeating Simsky. What, do you have any doubts about him? Well, yeah. Like you said earlier, he may be evil by his standards. You see, he might not be as evil as you think he is. What do you mean? The Black Thrush has been the most evil living creature I've known in this forest here. Well, perhaps he was evil, but he somehow developed goodness in his heart as a side effect of space so long in the burial chamber you dug him out of. Chances are he might end up defecting the Simsky because it believes that you wish to destroy humanity. The chances of that happening are very slim. He is my slave now! If he does betray us, he will his bones along with some skis. Boss, look at the radar! The Black Thrasher is approaching! What? The Black Thrasher? Prepare to attack when he gets in range! Understood, sir! Huh? 
Huh? He stopped moving, but why? Get a live visual in the backyard! Okay! What? He's surrendering? But why? It might be a trick. The Black Thresher was sent here by Bowstick to attack us while well. he rebuilt his army skeleton soldiers. Be careful! Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna take the pacer out, and capture the Black Thresher, and interrogate him. Let's go! Understood, I'll get the others! Alright, Black Thresher. You are not to move, as we are able to fire on you if you do. Is that understood? Yes, we're gonna start this game. Good. Now get on the ground. Oh, I gotta tell you. On the ground. Wait, I have to. On the ground now. Oh. Black Thrasher, you are under arrest for hostility against the goodness of Seri Tempestor Field. You have the right to remain silent. Oh. Oh. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Uh, there's something about both that I have to tell you. Well, we'll talk more about that face. Come on, Black Thrasher, let's go! Alright guys, watch from the windows. If he attempts to thrash me, apprehend him immediately. Do you promise not to thrash me if I remove your handcuffs? Yes. Definitely? Yes, definitely yes. Turn around. Now sit down in that chair. Alright, Black Thunder, what is it that you want to tell me about bone sticks? Well, when he recruited me, he revealed his plan to turn everyone on this planet into the evil living skeletons. He said that if I assisted him as best as I could, I could be spared to being a skeleton, but if I fail, he'll steal not just bones from your body, but also the bones from my body, too. He's every here to spy on you to gather intel about you. Well, then why'd you surrender yourself so easily? Because there was a sense of goodness that swept over me, and I had lost whatever shred of evil I had then. You see, I may have been evil, but I have standards. Even I don't want the world to be inhabited only by skeletons. Bone Six is crazy, and he wants to murder everyone on the planet Earth. Please, Simpson, you gotta help me. Bone Six will kill us all if we don't ditch our feud against each other and join forces to stop him. I'm sorry about all the attacks I made on you. Well, this is new. Switching sides, Black Thrasher? Well, <laughs> I gotta admit, welcome to the good side, Black Thrasher. Thank you, Simpson. But, you do understand exactly what will happen if you go back to your evil ways. Understood? Yes, 100% understood. Good. Let's go. Is there any word from Black Thrasher yet? He's been gone for 20 minutes now! We have not heard anything from Black Thrasher since he left your lair, sir. We believe that he's been taken prisoner or something. Well, keep your eyes open for him. He might have some intel for us. Yes, sir. Look, Bonesticks, I may be evil, but I have standards, 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 standards. Alright, everyone. We have a new ally fighting alongside us. Hey, what's up? That's right. Our former nemesis, the Black Thrasher, has switched sides and intends to help us defeat the evil Bonesticks. However, because of how I uh, recently chose to be good, chances are there might be a slim chance of him uh, becoming evil again. That being said, everyone is to keep a very close eye on the Black Thrasher just in case he does become evil again. But Simsky, I swear, I'm here to help you defeat the evil Bone Sticks and his men. I understand that, Black Thrasher, but I'm just telling you, since we battled against you in 2007 and 2008, you are our primary nemesis until we buried you at the end of when we return to Black Thrasher. And by the way, you can stop calling me by my last name. From this point on, I am to be called Dano. Alright, Dano. I now understand the consequences that you bestow against me. I'm now under your command, not under Bone Sticks's. That's more like it. So what are we waiting for? 
Let's break Bone Six's army into a million pieces! What's happening? I'm just sure! If Bone Six sent his army to assault us, then his army is up for a bomb attack! Attention everyone, get your defensive positions! Hostiles confirm we head your way! Return fire on A and all targets! Attack! Bring me some skip black trash or not! I want their bones! <laughs> If I'm correct, so will Black Thrasher. Looks like I'm gonna have to take care of them all by myself. Still love this part, just like old times. Now the crash semi some basic seals incorporate, along with the traitorous Black Thrasher. He will pay for double crossing me. Whoa, this doesn't look so easy now. Mr. Big Guy, fire plasma missile up on six now! Yes, sir! <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of Bone Six as men. Dirt, I doubt that was the real Bone Sticks. Black Dasha, what are you talking about? Did you just see Bone Six just break like a dry twig? Let's go in and see for ourselves. Why is he not in motion? Daniel, listen to me. That's not the real Bone Sticks. How would you know if that wasn't the real Bone Sticks? Because the last time I was at the real Bone Sticks is where he started rebuilding his skeleton men. And while he did that, he sent me out here to spy on you and your men. However, I got reason to believe that he can't pay himself while doing this. While I did gather intel, it's not about you. It's about crazier and evil he is. Well, maybe you, Black Tasha, can tell me who or what that is that's sitting motionless on the ground if the real Bone Six is still at his lair. That can only be a decoy. A decoy? What do you think? Of course a decoy. What do you think? Come on, Dan. What's wrong with you? You think that that was the real Bone Six? He would be trying to escape or even rebuilding his stick body? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what's your plan, Daniel? We gotta go see what's going on with that decoy. I don't recommend that. It could be a trap. Probably even a mine or something like that. If we get too close, it would kill us all in the explosion. Well, in that case, Black Thrasher, perhaps I could uh, shoot the uh, explosive charge to set it off. All right, Daniel. I'm ready to go with you into the forest to take out the decoy trap. And let's go. Alright guys, the Black Sasha and I are going to go out and inspect the decoy. Keep an eye on us in case anything goes wrong. What are you saying? Sivsky Pumpkin, there is the Black Thrasher following him. Black Thrasher, you better thrash him. And more importantly, have at least five notes of what he into about him. If you don't, I'll have your bones ripped from your body along with Sivsky's. What are you waiting for, Black Thrasher? 
Thrash him already! You traitor! I helped you out of the barrel chamber, this is how you repay me! I trusted you and you double crossed me! Hey Dale, if we can't go within 20 feet from the decoy trap, how are we going to disable it? Maybe I can shoot the skull with my 357 Magnum! Hey Dale, if both the two of us perish in this attempt of yours to disable one of those six's traps, I gotta tell you, it's been nice knowing you. You've been a worthy opponent for me back in 2007 and 2008. And even if I were still evil, which I'm not anymore, I would still side with you if your battle against any other villain besides me. Really? Yes, though, I'm dead serious. Nobody was to ever bring down 77 Pacers Shields Incorporated except myself. This might come as a shock to you, but there's something else I've got to tell you about Bone Sticks. What is it? Wow, <laughs> I gotta say, that's a really interesting story about Bone Sticks being a witness to our first battle against each other back in November 2007. I'm just glad that we're allies now. Me too, Dale, good luck. Thanks, Black Thrasher. A smoke screen, really? What the? It's sleeping, guys. It's. It's. A tree trap. Dale, no! Don't fall! Go! A tree. Tree. Sipsky, your fate is in my hands now. And if my suspicions are correct, the Black Thrasher's fate shall be the same. Guards, bring me those two! Boss! Black Thrasher, can you hear us? Boss! Black Thrasher! We lost our boss and the Black Thrasher! No, this can't be happening! The Black Thrasher is evil again! I never really trusted him anyway! Whippy, how could you? Be nice to our new ally! Sure, the Black Thrasher was our enemy, but he's on our side now! From what we've seen most recently, he really looks like he's of his word! But our boss has to keep an eye on him just in case he does turn evil again! I know that, Whippy, but do you think me you should talk about a new ally that way? And watch your mouth before saying something that'll have you court martialed! You're smack talking about any of our allies is treason against 77 Pacer Studios Incorporated! Is that clear, Whippy? Yes, crystal clear! Good! And the next time you meet the Black Thrasher, you are not to thrash him! Disobey this order, and you'll be charged with the same punishment as friendly fire! Treason! Understood! Play Black Thrasher is good! What happened to our boss? Try getting a visual on their last report position! Roger! Black Thrasher is captured! Guys, to car now! Oh, what happened? Dale, are you alright? Dale, wake up! Wake up already! Silence, Black Thrasher! Why? Because you are under suspicion of treason against the ruthless bone who fears no one. Now keep quiet. What if I don't? You'll be silenced by stern means. Like this! <laughs> when our master has finally disposed of both you and Sipsky, as well as the rest of Series 7 Pacer Shields Incorporated, he shall rule the world as it shall soon be inhabited by evil living skeletons. You and your companions shall be brought to my master as soon as he wakes up. Uh... Ah, he's waking up now. The end of the human race shall start soon. Time to face destiny, you two. Time to bring you to our all-powerful leader, High Old Bone Sticks. You, you're Nazis! What? Nazis? This doesn't make any sense. We used to be Nazis of the Third Reich. And both sixes are new Fuhrer. Come with us and prepare to face your doom. Master, we have the two prisoners being escorted to you. Thank you. Open the door to let them in. Yes, sir. All right, move it. Black Thrasher, I am very, very, very disappointed in you! Silence! You betrayed us all, Black Thrasher! Remember, we made a deal! I said silence, Welding Face! You would be thrashing anyone or anything if it weren't for me! 
Remember, I brought you back to life, and I need your help to bring down Simsky here along with the rest of the cities of Pacers, Steelers, and Corporate, so we can turn everyone on the planet into even living skeletons. I was wrong to have trusted you back, Thrasher. I would never have helped you out if I knew that you had lost your evil instincts in that burial chamber you were trapped in. Bone sticks with Black Thrasher talk! Silence, Simsky! Guard! If Daniel says one more word, Slit his throat with the shattered piece of my mirror he broke earlier. <laughs> it's not his turn to speak, and it never will be! What are you talking about? As I told you the last time you we were in my lair, I gave him a chance to have his last meal, and he took advantage of the freedom I gave him, ruining everything for me in the process. I am not going to make the same mistake with him twice. He had to have known about this. He probably tipped him off or something. Now you're stalling me with this argument of yours. His forces are probably on their way to rescue you and Zipsky. Oh, I hope we're not too late. Whip and get a grip of yourself. I don't believe you. My men said that this guy here and his men took you prisoner. Oh, really? Hand over the intel book I trusted you with. It better be about Sips getting the scalp and setting some pace as soon as incorporate. You know exactly what else to have been. Is it about them, right? That's right, folks. Why can't you uncuff? Alright, whatever. Uncuff him. Now, let's see what we have here. I bet it's something vital about Simpsons' deepest, darkest secrets. What? I am as brilliant weak as a twig and break easy. I have no real strides against Simpsons. Number three, I am a ruthless dictator who wants to kill everyone on the planet. Number four, I have no chance to bring down 77 patients to incorporate. Number five, no matter how hard I try to win a fight, my efforts will always prove futile. Number six, I'm such a loser at everything. Number seven, I'm related to Adolf Hitler. I don't even know who that is, but number eight here says that I'm a cannibal intent on eating the flesh of those I killed. Number nine here says that I am not to be trusted or be loyal to. And number ten says that I am sentenced to be broken to a million pieces. Black Thrasher, you traitor, I should never have trusted you. Impossible! How did you two defeat all my men so easily? Zemsky, how did you get free? Simple. Like it says on that intel you had Black Thrasher right for you, you and your men had no strength. It was like breaking a bunch of dry twigs scattered around us. <laughs> you two will pay for all the pain you are inflicting upon me. Where's my most honored skeleton soldier? What shall I do to please my master, the all powerful bone sticks? Take this mirror shard. And cut Sipsky and Black Thrasher's bones out and bring them to me! Yes, sir. Come on, most honorable one, use your strength! I'm doing what I can, Master. That was too strong. Try harder! I don't want to hear any excuses! Hey, Bone Sticks, this harsh treatment of your own men's gonna be their downfall, and certainly yours too! Not so honorable now, are you, MHSS? Or should I say LHSS? That says for least darn skeleton soldier. Ha <laughs> Master, help me. I'm coming, my most honored one. Get out of my way, Black Thrasher. Never. I am the Black Thrasher. And I am here to break you to a million pieces. You are the one who should be torn apart. Not Daniel Simsky. You caused so much trouble in John Connecticut over the course of 11 years. And you are using me as one of your pawns. Like you're not. This whole game you've been playing for all this time, it's over. All of it is over. You're through once and for all, you bonehead. You ruined my reputation and had me under your influence to bring down Series and Pacers to his incorporated. I've heard enough from you, you traitorous beast. Time for you and Simpsons to face your doom. You really 
have no chance, both six. Face it, your efforts have always been are ridiculously futile. I have superior strength compared to you, and even your entire army can't break me. Master, no! Don't worry, I've got two more tricks on my mind. This isn't the end, Black Thrasher. We'll see about that. Daniel Simpson and I have pointed out the best happy ending any group of heroes has ever thought of. Right, Daniel? That's right, Black Thrasher. Wait a minute, who's coming to crush the party? <laughs> I know what that is, it's Biffed! You're a sight for sore eyes! Hey boss, we came here as fast as we could, do we miss anything? I'm sorry to say yes, the Black Thrasher and I have defeated Bone Six once again due to his lousy unpreparedness. <laughs> what did you say? Well, I'll show you how unprepared, or better yet, how prepared I really am. What is he talking about? Wait a minute. Black Thrasher, get in the car. Bone Six is going to make himself grow. Got it. Calling everyone still at base, we have a new threat to deal with. Bosix is now a giant size and it's now hanging in the direction of our base. Kill operational fire aircraft airborne immediately. The bomber squadron must not yet take off. Uh, as a, we need fire support to drive Bosix and residents back to base. All fire aircraft are now clear for takeoff. Bomber squadron, do not take off without my proper courage to do so. Any questions? Sir, I have the question. Can it wait? No, it can't. Why do us bomber pilots have to wait to the fighters out of way? Don't bombers have weapons too? Yes, but unlike fire aircraft, bombers that are less maneuverable and only have weapons for defense. But still, if both succeeds you along with the other bombers, he'll blast you right out of the air. So we need fire support for driving both six back to his lair to enable us to destroy both at the same time. Now, Jersey girl, you are not yet clear for takeoff, so do not take off without my proper clearance to do so! Yes, sir. No more questions, just do what you're told! Understood. That girl may be a skilled bomber pilot and the soldier, and she could, and she's really hard to deal with when she doesn't take emergency seriously. Oh, I see. Well, the thing is, she's not really worth getting mad at. I mean, girls like her may be such a pain in the neck, but uh, she's not really doing anything on purpose. She just needs to do something to blow off steam. The least you can do is just cut her some slack. Even in an emergency? Yes. When this battle is over, tell Jersey Girl the lesson I just taught you. You know what, Black Thrasher? You're right. You're more smart than I've ever known you to be. <laughs> wow, it's been a long time since we've seen any action. Yeah, feels good to be back in action. Let's get this bone-headed stick figure. You really think that such puny aircraft can stop me? Very brave pirates by futile efforts. Give me your best shot! All right, you asked for it. Everyone, fire at will. <laughs> Oh, where did they go? The cat have just vanished into thin air. Mail ah! six to boss. Mail six to boss. I mean, boss. Go ahead. 
targeted me to security. Rookie, the target is me to security. Set the whole bomber to crack the cinch to lock me to blast around. Okay, male six. All right, everyone. All bombers are clear for takeoff. Take off as soon as you're straight down the runway. Target coordinates is 4173-5410. That's where you need to drop your plasma bombs. That's right, Jersey girl. Today's your lucky day. Hey, Daniel. Should I be assigned to an aircraft on my own when the battle's over? What? What, Thrasher? Uh, don't you have an aircraft already? No, nothing you assigned me to unless... Wait a minute. The jet that I flew in returned to Mark Thrasher. Yeah, that jet. Why, do you think we can repair it? Because I remember shooting you down and thinking that you perished in the crash. Well, yeah, I hope you didn't damage it beyond repair. I hope so too, Black Thrasher. I'm sorry I had to shoot you down. It's okay, Dale. I was evil back then. Yeah, that's true, but do you know where the aircraft is? Probably somewhere in the Lizotonic River where it crashed. Really? It's still there after all this time? I figured that if an aircraft did happen to crash into the Lizotonic River, someone would notice the wreckage and try to fish it out. But even if it could still be residing in there after all this time, the recent slush back in January must have uh, finally washed it out. But I'll tell you what, Black Thrasher. When this battle's over, you and I are going to find the jet and fish it out and try to repair it. Don't worry, we'll see if I'm, what we can do with it. And we'll figure something out for you if your jet can't be repaired. Thank you, Daryl. You're a really awesome guy. Thanks. You too, Black Thrasher. Glad we're on the same side. <laughs> I guess I underestimated the power of 77 Pacer Studios Incorporated. This isn't over. I'll be back and you will pay. All of you will pay. The target has returned to this lair. Repeat. Target has returned to this lair. Nothing, 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 the same time. Yeah, guys, no one hit him. Dive bombers first. Shotgun, shouty. And turn face. That means you! Fuck that, baby! Let's do the black and white old person ride! Do you know what he's doing? Do you think it's a case of Yeah, yeah, those of have nowhere left to go. Commence diving to keep it down. Wait for it. I hope I'm right about this. The roof better hold. Now, drop them. Here they come. Bombs away. Bombs away! Bombs away. No! My throne room! My beautiful throne room! Curse you, Sipsky! Curse you, Black Thrasher! Curse you, 77 Pacer Studios Incorporated! Curse you, human race! And curse you, planeters! If I can't conquer the Earth, I'll destroy it instead! I hate you! I hate all of you! This will not be the last time anybody sees me! Ugh. Oh no, I can't feel my body! No! My body, my beautiful stick body destroyed! Huh. Uh oh! I'm always like you bone headed stick figure. Gregory, open the blockade door. 10 4, copy the. Now, drop them. Not bombs! Anything but bombs! No!
Voice for Diane to base. Voice for Diane to base. Come in base. Over. We hear you loud and clear, Voice for Diane. Go ahead. Target bond and rendered in compass. Repeat. Target bond and rendered in compass. Over. Acknowledge. Well done, Diane. Thanks. Is the battle over? Yes, Diane. The battle is over. We have to be the genocidal bonehead stick figure who calls himself Bone Sticks. Never again will he be a danger to the peace and goodness of this beautiful planet Earth. So, what next? Next, all board aircraft are to RTB. The Black Thrasher and I have to take care of Bone Sticks. 10-4, copy that. And wait a minute, I thought the Black Thrasher was evil. You didn't he take care of him too. Voice Forge Diane, listen. The Black Thrasher used to be evil. Compliments of Bone Sticks. You see, Bone Sticks were behind all the threats against the peace and goodness of Sean Connecticut. And was using the Black Thrasher as one of his pawns. Now he is on the side of good. He has helped me, and he and I were captured by Bone Sticks' skeleton soldiers. And the two of us were brought before Bone Sticks, who got into an argument with him. I tried to break up the argument, but Bone Sticks cut me off and had one of his men hold a broken piece of glass at my throat, threatening to split it if I interrupted him again. Black Dasher then gave Bone Sticks intel on him before freeing me. I'm not kidding you, Diane. If not for the Black Dasher, I would have been killed. Okay, sir, let me get this straight. Your former nemesis has redeemed himself and turned good. Yes, he's now one of us. Sound good? Well, yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry, sir, but I find it hard to believe that your old nemesis has turned good. It's okay, Diane. I know what it's like to have a hard time accepting changes in life. I mean, who hasn't had difficulty accepting changes in life? Good point. Over and out. Alright everyone, we did it! Once again, the Earth has been saved from the evil Bone Sticks and his dreaded army. Anybody here know how we can dispose of Bone Sticks once and for all? Can we kill him? No, Jersey Girl, we tried that already, but Bone Sticks can't be killed. Given that he's immortal, he has to be banished somewhere else, a lot farther than ever before. Why not use another beast to rob it? Been there, done that. But, uh, we learned our lesson when he came back down to Earth. The last time we bashed him using a V-2 rocket, we, uh, didn't, uh, set him up high enough to be, for him to be stuck in orbit forever. Well, if the V-2 rocket wasn't enough to permanently banish bone sticks, what will be enough? Wait, hold on a second! I gotta check out how it he's doing on the Flight Monster Spear. Hey, Wimpy, are the flight modifications for Spift complete yet? Just a second, the final touch! I just need to put this panel cover on the panel here! There, all done! Done yet? You need to test my transformation! Oh yeah, that's right! First, Ben, you need to be backed out the garage before you can transform! Oh yeah, the wingspan is too big to fit in the garage! I never thought of that! And by the way, Wimpy, I can back myself out! Fasten your seatbelt! <laughs> Yes, Wimpy gave me all of the necessary modifications. 
good, good. That's very good. Well, anyways, I'll come back down. I got some special cargo that we have to deliver to Jupiter. First, I gotta tell the other power that I spoke to. Understood. Good. I just have finished the modifications on the display Pacer 5000. It can now transform into a vehicle capable of a flight and space travel. With this vehicle, the Black Dasher, my crew and I, will send Bone 6 up into the planet Jupiter. You know, that place, that huge gassy... You know, that uh, huge gassy planet with the great red spot? Yeah, that one. Well... He'll be stuck in there forever. If that won't kill him, he's gonna wish himself dead. You know, it's starting to pity that bonehead, but still, it's necessary for it to deliver such a punishment. But still, it's necessary to deliver such a punishment. Especially going to uh, such an immortal being who's a bent on global genocide. Everyone dismissed. We're saving some Pacer Studios! <laughs> Mr. Big Guy number one, number two, you meet me and, and we'll be inspected. Okay, everyone, brace yourselves. Because we are going to go extremely fast speed when we clear the atmosphere. Activate the flying mode. Beautiful view! Hey Whippy, do we have oxygen on board? Yes, we do! Activate oxygen equipment! <laughs> oxygen equipment activated! We got two days! That's more than enough to get the Jupiter back! Two days? Wait, wait, hold on a second! Jupiter's an extremely long way from here, so we need a lot more oxygen than two days for a trip to, to Jupiter. If I remember correctly, during the Apollo missions, the astronauts took three days to go to the moon, and then another three days to get back. Jupiter is a much greater distance here than the moon, and that's such would require like a week or so to get to Jupiter, and another, another week or two to get back to Earth. No problem, boss, but tell me, did the Apollo astronauts have hyperspace capabilities? No. Of course not, that's what we have. That's right, boss, give it a try. Hyperspace, huh? Well, <laughs> this may sound like science fiction, but I gotta admit, I, I gotta give this a try. I mean, every newly built machine needs a new test run, right? Waiting on you, boss. All right, Spiff. All right, everyone, buckle up. We're about to go into hyperspace. Right. Okay, everyone's buckled up. Commence hyperspace now. Wait, Dale. I need to make the proper calculations. Seriously, proper calculations? Sir, traveling through hyperspace is nothing like dusting crops. Without extremely precise calculations, we end up crashing into anything like an asteroid, another planet, or even a black hole. That might be a trip really fast, wouldn't it? What? Oh. Hang on there a minute, Spiffed. You have a protective shell, don't you? Well, that may be true, but that was designed to only work on the planet Earth and was originally never meant to go into space. So I do have a weakness when I exit the atmosphere, but I'm scheduled to get that upgrade to my protective shell in about a month or so. Wimpy just needs to do more research on the technology and conduct more experiments and tests that the armor upgrade must pass before he's ready for action. Oh, the calculations have been made, and we are now heading in the precise direction of Jupiter. Hyperspace jump in three, two, one, now! Yes, I have Bone 6 right here. 
Oh, where am I? What happened? Sorry, Bone Six, but this is the end for you and all the trouble you caused in Chunk Connecticut. As punishment for your crimes, you are sentenced to be stuck on the planet Jupiter for all eternity. You mean you're giving me a better plan to conquer the Earth? Uh, not exactly. It's a form of banishment. A permanent one, too. There's no surface to land on, really. Jupiter consists of super hot gases of extremely hot temperatures beyond imagination. It's higher than the sun, in fact. Even tungsten, the metal with the highest melting point in existence, will melt easily at this t kind of temperature. Believe me, Bone Six, you wouldn't survive in Jupiter's atmosphere. Oh yeah, I could survive a thousand years in there or ten times the inside of the sun. We'll see about that. In fact, this will be the last time anybody hears from you. Never again will you threaten humanity! That's right, Bone Sticks. Never again will the human race be in danger from your evil plan of global genocide. And you will never ever be brainwashing anybody ever again. Even if I don't ever come back, there will be more evil tours that will take my place. And one of them will finally bring down 77 Pacers Series Incorporated and carry out my plan of global genocide! Well, Bone Sticks, you may be partly right. Sure, there are other villains who will try carrying out their evil plan, but even the majority of even super villains have standards, and as such, we want to destroy the human rights. You, my friend, are the most evil living being the universe has ever known. Time for you to be trapped in Jupiter. Goodbye forever, you bonehead. Ejection can loaded. Aiming towards Jupiter. The red spot. Locked on fire! I hate living things! I hate them all! I will be avenged! The human race shall be wiped out completely to pay for my defeats and banishment! Ah! It's really painful! I'm feeling as old as he is ripping me apart! I can't possibly bear this guy and fight me for all eternity! Yes! We did it, everyone! It's the end of Bone Sticks! We ain't ever gonna hear from him again! Alright. I'm glad that I could attend the end of such a villainous monster. Can we go home now, Donald? Sure, Black Sasha, certainly! Let's go home!